Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at what the graph of the most basic absolute value function looks like. So in your notebook, please put down today's subtitle, Basic Absolute Value Function. To start with, the most basic absolute value function is represented by the following rule. y is equal to the absolute value of x. Now before we get to drawing the graph, I'd like to first look at what kind of y values are produced depending on what x values are plugged into this rule. So I would like you to prepare a table of values that looks something like this. So please pause the video and draw it now. All right, let's take a look at what y values we get for some given x values. So completely randomly, let's plug in some x values in a sequence. How about if we start all the way at x equals minus 3? And then without skipping anything, let's go x minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Now, for all these x values, what y values are going to be produced? Well, let's take a look. What's the absolute value of minus 3? Well, let's pause at 3. Next, what's the absolute value of minus 2? Pause at 2. Let's continue. The absolute value of minus 1 is positive 1. Absolute value of 0 is 0. Absolute value of 1 is 1. Absolute value of 2 is 2. And finally, the absolute value of 3 is 3. Good. Now that we have some idea of what y values and x values go together, now we're prepared to draw the graph. To accommodate our coordinates, you're going to need a grid that's about this size. So go ahead, pause the video, and prepare the grid now. All right. Let's put in our coordinates one by one. I'm going to be drawing my graph in a different color. Uh, I'm going to be doing it in green. So let's start at the very beginning. When x is minus 3, y is positive 3. So one coordinate goes right there. Next, when x is minus 2, y is positive 2. When x is minus 1, y is positive 1. When x is 0, y is 0. When x is 1, y is 1. When x is 2, y is 2. And when x is 3, y is 3. And I think by now you can see the overall shape of the resulting graph. Good for you if you realize that it will form a V-shaped type graph. And that's all there is, ladies and gentlemen, to what the graph of a basic absolute value function looks like.